welcome back to my channel Brit's Way and welcome to a hair vlog so yes guys hair vlog today you're going to get all four of us in this one video you're gonna get me you're gonna get my oldest daughter Shania my middle daughter Talaya and Knight even through Taylor's little hair routine in this hair vlog so this weekend this is my normal every Sunday hair routine guys we have a head full of hair in my household so it definitely takes me hours sunday is that day that it's just like it's gonna take me time to get through everybody's hair but this particular weekend we actually had planned so everybody's hair had to get completely washed deep conditioned and restyled so definitely just join me on my hair vlog sunday i'm teaching my oldest daughter shania how to style and retwist her hair um she's 12 going on 13 so it's definitely time for her to really learn to start taking care of her curls um, she kind of just does a little swoop half of the time, puts it in a ponytail, and it gets super dry. So in this video, you're going to see me show her how she can do a cute little twist out style on her hair. Don't worry, guys. I'm leaving the timestamps down below for you guys who may not be interested in everybody's style. I'm also going to be showing you guys my style today. This right here is day four, actually. So in this video, you're going to see me use the Miss Jessie's Coily Custard Agave Plus Coconut Oil. This is what it looks like. I've actually used one of her products before, but I did not record it. So this one's going to be the first for my YouTube channel. Um, but I wanted to pop in and tell you guys that this is actually day four. So I just lightly and very lightly with a little bit of water touched up my curls and diffused it. But I definitely decided just to put a little bun up here just because I don't want it all down in my face. Typically by day four, sometimes by day three, my hair is halfway up or it's in a bun. So it's actually looking really good to be day four. I'm really feeling the product. But to see the few, the full details and everything of the product, definitely stay tuned. Don't worry, guys. The timestamps will be down below if you want to skip past everything else. And I'm also going to be doing my middle daughter's hair, who's very tender-headed. Um, and she has the most fine, super curly hair. So definitely stay tuned for the hairstyle I do on her and the products I use on her. And that's really all, guys. Just giving you guys an insight on my every weekly hair routine in our house hope you guys enjoyed this video all right guys so we're gonna get into the slay portion of the video yes i know we're looking a little rough but bear with us shania has the maui moisture heal and hydrate shea butter hair mask currently in her hair so yesterday she shampooed and conditioned her hair and i made her put a mask in her hair because honey needs some moisture in her hair so we're starting off with the hair mask then we're gonna go in and we're gonna style it with the shea um the shea moisture this is not the smoothie um i didn't have any more of the smoothie of uh, i'm running low on hair products guys so i don't have any more of that um as i am i mean really struggling on products today so we're gonna use the curl and shine hair mask along with the dippity doo girls with curls um so we have moisture and we have hold to do the back of her hair for the twist out i have to take out her braids it's been a whole week of school, so I'm gonna take her braids out. We're going to <laughs> we're going to shampoo with the um, Mayel Organics Babasu's Conditioning Shampoo. This has literally been my go-to shampoo for the last month. It is <laughs> for the last month. It's definitely everything. Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus um, Conditioner. So that's what we're gonna do for Talaya's to get rinsed and conditioned. And then for myself, guys, I've actually already washed condition and deep condition, but I wasn't feeling good last night, so it just dried. So I'm going to, of course, wet it because styling your hair wet definitely minimizes the frizz. But for the first time ever, guys, I'm going to be using the Miss Jessie's Coily Custard. It says it has agave and coconut oil, and it's the best darn curly custard period just in case you're not interested in every single hairstyle or process that i'm going to be doing today in this hair vlog i will leave the timestamps down below for you guys to click on so you can jump to straight to whether you want to see what i do with shania's hair talaya's hair myself i might throw taylor in here so all right y'all let's get started all right hair friends so jumping right in with my middle daughter talaya's hair now remember no two heads of curls are identical so talaya's hair is considered fine high porosity and long and this is me taking it out after being braided up for the week i typically like to keep her hair braided while she's at school just to keep it more under control versus letting her wear it out natural so today's wash day i'm going to be using the Mayel organics babasu's conditioning shampoo this is my go-to i used it about i tried it about a month ago and i absolutely love how gentle it is 
It's a gentle cleanser that softens and strengthens your hair with rich moisturizing agents, and it's amazing. It's about $13. I did catch a good $7 sale, so definitely shop around. Um, so now I'm going to go and I'm going to condition, I mean, I'm going to um, detangle Talia's hair. Now, you always want to detangle with damp hair, um, whether it's water or conditioner or your favorite um, leave-in liquid base. Definitely detangle it while it's wet. Um, I even like to um, detangle it a little bit before I even wash it. That definitely helps the detangling process. And always put it into manageable sections. So depending on how long and thick your hair or, you know, your daughter or client, whoever hair is, um, definitely putting it in sections is definitely going to help the, with the detangling process. So now I'm just going to style Talaya's hair and honestly guys she does not like getting her hair braided but she sat through it like a big girl like she always does because she loves how it turns out. So as you guys can see Talaya's curls are super defined. Oh my goodness I love how juicy her curls look um, and I'm just going to go through and style her hair for the week. I do like to give Leia a style that's going to last the entire week of school. It just helps me out since we have practice and we always have a lot of things going during the school week. Um, so I just am always sure to make sure I wrap her hair with a scarf and she puts her bonnet on and this is just to prolong the current style but also um, it causes less friction and tangles when she's just sleeping without a scarf or a bonnet and obviously it gets less frizzy but I do like to keep it braided um, like I mentioned in the beginning because you know wearing her hair out it just does not it's just not something that I like for her to be at school that way since she's always you know on the playground running around and everything like that guys but um needless to say I just love how Talia's hair turned out um i'm making the ones back here much bigger because honestly my back hurts i'm hungry okay. and this is your back hurt too this is what hair days consist of in my household like it does take me anywhere from like three to six hours depending on what i'm doing to the girl's hair to do it um and i typically do their hair to last for the week i'm making these much bigger this time in the back because i am just i'm hungry i'm getting tired turn to the turn this way but um, I'm using these these hair ties right here that I picked up off of Sheen. Since these ponytails are going to be much bigger, instead of using um, rubber bands that will, you know, that can sometimes like tug on your hair. So I'm going to keep doing these. I'm just going to plait all these up. Why, see you done, honey? You done, Shnai? Come on. Oh, my goodness. I have never used one of these, and it feels so amazing. Especially since my hair is not done. It can get through my scalp, and my hair is already detangled. A little more. So, Shania, how to... Maintain her hair a little better. She's been doing a whole like swoop ponytail, but she's not really too strained twisting her hair, really keeping it hydrated and moisturized. Her go-to, what's your go-to? Your go-to everyday product is what? Eco Styling Gel. This is the Argan Oil Eco Styling Gel. That's her go-to every morning. She does her swoop ponytail, her edges, edges be popping. But I'm trying to tell her that she does need to learn to keep her hair super moisturized. And I'm going to be um, having her use the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Hair Mask. I typically use the smoothie, but I don't have any smoothie on hand. And I'm running really low on a lot of products. So I thought this would be great for hydrating. It does not have to be rinsed out. So I'm going to apply this to her hair. And then for a little extra added hold, I'm going to add the Dippity Do Girls with Curls um yes it's literally called dippity do girls with curls um jelly so i'm gonna add this along with this for moisturizing and this is gonna be for a little extra added hold so something that I'm trying to teach Shania is that moisture starts with her wash day. And with Shania's type of curls, this requires deep hydration to reduce the chances of breakage. So something to help her with her hair is doing a pre-poo. And I'll leave the video when I made a homemade pre-poo up here in the right-hand corner for you guys to check out. But pre-pooing does protect your curls. It improves manageability. And if your hair is extremely dry like Shania's can get and matted, I guarantee you that pre-pooing will help ease the process. Um, so now I'm going to get into styling Shania's hair. So done with Talaya's hair. I feel like I'm about to go back and wet mine a little bit because it's gotten dry 
since doing her hair. Um, but, okay, so for the fun part, Shania, she is going to learn to start doing her own, like, twist out. So, finish braiding the front of her hair for her. The back is going to be twisted out so then she can leave it all today, tomorrow, and then into tomorrow night before we go to the dinner. She can undo her two-strand twist and then have more of like a little like wavy, somewhat kind of a curl. I don't know what this hairstyle is called, but most times when it comes to hair day, which is typically Sunday, I typically get on Pinterest. I love Pinterest. I love getting on there, getting some inspiration. Shania will get on there and look at some hairstyles that she likes. Um, even Leia, and then we'll kind of like try to do something similar. The thing about doing um, when you're twisting is tip, or when I'm twisting, I can only speak for me doing Shania's hair, is that a lot of the time the twist will unravel and fluff up before it's fully dry. So to get your best results for a, tw a twist out, you want your twist to be dry. I tell Shania that all the time. Do the soft dryer and let it completely dry. You're not going to get the results that you're going for. I the Shea Moisture Cream all over her hair when I detangled it. It's all nice and soft. I'm going to be using, like I said, the girls, um, the Dip You Do Girls with Curls Jelly as a more of a hold to her hair. Now, look at that curl, y'all. So amazing. All right, you're going to add a little bit of gel since you already have that cream lathered through your hair. Split it in half. You can leave out these little pieces so they don't be hurting. And you're really just going to twist it down. You know how to twist. Yes. And you're going to really hold that twist. Keep it nice and tight. Because the thing about it is, it's going to fluff up. There's like no way around me letting this go and it not fluffing up. But um, you still want to try to do it as tight as you can. And there's your twist right there. Can y'all see that? Right there. And I don't use a comb. I really just go through. If you need some water, go ahead and give yourself a little shower. Like I said, I don't I don't use a um a comb because ain't nobody checking for parts. Like I'm the worst parter. So even on my own head, even on I mean not on my own head, even on somebody else's head, I'm just not the best parter. So we're going to go through, and you see how that root right here is already kind of fluffing up? As long as you have that, at least some type of product up there, it'll at least give it a decent hold. Tight twist all the way down. Again, it's going to unroll some. It's, I mean, it's going to fluff up some. So I'm going to do this first row for Shania. I just don't understand how you're so much taller than me. Like, what is going on? Oh, Jesus. I might need to sit down and do my hair, y'all, because my back is really hurting. My back typically hurts on days that I do hair, but I've been recently having some back problems, so it's like hurting 10 times more today. This over here with you. I'll be right here in case you need a little conversation or something, but not no assistance, honey, because I think you got this. I was just about to say assistance. No, mm-mm, nope. Okay, so I'm going to be using the... Miss Jessie's Coily Custard. Okay, I know I showed you guys this earlier. Section my hair as I go. And I'm going to let my hair air dry. So, um, this is going to air dry for probably the rest of the day. If you're familiar with my channel, my typical routine, I do go through sections. I do, um, when I want those big clumpy curls, I do curl it around my brush. I'm not going to talk the entire time I sh um. I style my hair, but I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an overview of how I feel about this product so far. So, okay, it's a, uh, well, it smells good. I'm not going to lie. It does not smell like coconut. It don't smell like Shea Moisture. It don't smell like nothing like that. It's like a very, I don't know, I kind of get a perfume smell from it, but it smells good. Shoot, you smell? I always do smell tests. Don't look at me like that. It smells really good. And it's really light, so it's not super thick. I'm feeling that already. And anytime I use something that's super thick, like a um a curling cream or a butter, um, it just takes longer for it to air like air dry. Okay, yeah, we okay, we getting somewhere. Hold it for a second, and I actually just like kind of unravel it and I'll get like a nice little. I started doing that too, but if you want to check out the full video on how I really you know, take my time today ain't gonna be one of them take my time days because I'm ready to sit down. Um, I'll def definitely go check out the video. Okay.
face. Smells really good. Um, no sulfates, no paraben, no artificial uh, artificial flavors, artificial coloring, no mineral oil, um, not animal tested. I mean, the list goes on. So it definitely has a good amount of information on here. It does say exactly what I just said. Finally, a lightweight, freshly scented wash and go styler that really works for natural coily and curly hair. So exactly what I was saying. It's really lightweight and it's like a fresh smell. Look at that. Look at that. At least it says what I'm getting. Like, I'm not getting the whole opposite. Like, I was like, okay, definitely lightweight, definitely smells super fresh. Okay, okay, look at them girls. Is they popping away, Shania? Yeah. Don't leave me out here hanging in the straight shoes. Ooh. Okay, we're going to finish um, doing our hair. Yeah, I, I, it's been a long day. It's already like three something. We started at nine o'clock. Granted, I needed a couple of breaks because I got hungry. My back was really hurting, but y'all, seriously, I'm really losing it. I done did a twist to my head. I don't even know how I'm watching her doing it and then I'm back here, over here twisting my hair and I'm surely not supposed to be twisting it. Like, y'all. Doing my nails later too. Just had on nails like I know that's the great thing about your girl learning to do her own nails, y'all. Oh my goodness, like I ain't got to do an acrylics, but for the last few weeks I've really been learning to do my own nails. And um I can put them on and take them off as I want. Like I love that. I love it. So I know I can't braid with nails. So that's why I decided to take them off and I was doing a whole different set anyways. So I know I had to sit down. I'm literally, this is like the worst angle, but still loving this product. Um, by the way, I did want to mention it was like almost $12. It was like 11 something. And I picked it up at Walmart just because I knew I was running low on some hair products. So I just wanted to grab something while I was in Walmart. But um, Shania did really well on her hair. The worst thing ever. Oh my God, my back hurt. She doesn't like the soft dryer. So all we do is plug up the end of this. I mean, the the put the blow dryer here to the end. Show the people the end of that. It's like this. So yeah. This is the head part. You put it or connect it to your head here. Then connects to the dryer piece and the dryer blows. All right, guys. So it is the next day, and um, Shania's hair is dry. My hair is dry. Um, to give you guys a little update with mine, I have a good cast over it. So honestly, I I really have no complaints um with this product. I like how soft it is. I like the smell of it. Um, I haven't seen any flakage. It's only you know the next morning. I did lightly diffuse it before it was fully dry because I needed to leave. Um, so I hadn't felt that cast at the time because it really wasn't dry to fill a cast but I do have a cast on my hair so I'm gonna go through I'm gonna pick out my hair to break up some of the clumpy curls just to give myself some more volume um I am gonna use some of my my OXG coconut serum to um minimize the frizz while I'm breaking up my um clumpy curls and Schneider's gonna do the same thing so turn around so she um she has a nice good hold on her twist which is really nice um, and they're also still pretty soft. So she's going to use some of the serum as well. And she's going to unravel her twist. And this is just going to help minimize any of the frizz. Um, and then other than that, like we want to fluff it up. And that's pretty much it with us. So so do it one by one. So you have some of the serum on your hand. And you're going to undo the twist. And that you don't have to put it on your hand every time you undo a twist. But at least it just gives it a little extra shine. And it usually helps me have less frizz. Time, you want to be sure to put um, a satin bonnet on, silk bonnet, scarf. She's going to put a scarf over the top here. Um, continue to oil it and then just retwist them. They don't have to be as small, but still just retwist them just so 
you know, it keeps kind of the form of this whistle. Yeah. Now time to call them. Mommy, I, I call them. Um, yeah. Yeah, so silly. <laughs> Such a big girl. You ready like to go dinner. to dinner? Yeah. I want to show everyone. You want to show everyone? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, okay. my friends. So that's going to conclude today's hair vlog. Honestly, guys, this is my weekly thing. I do hair every Sunday, sometimes on Fridays, just depending on um, what we have going on. But yes, I have a house full of hair, so I'm really trying to teach the girls to deep condition their hair, take care of their hair, really love their hair. Um, I'm hoping to get some clips in here of Talia and Shania's hair completely done with the diamonds and all cute, but we are in a rush to get out the door to a soccer game, and then we'll be rushing off to a dinner. But thanks again for joining us um, on our hair vlog today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you have not already subscribed to your girl's channel, hit that notification bell so you're notified each and every time I post a new video. And I hope to catch you guys all in my next vlog. Mommy. Say bye.